exciting. It would be more exciting if you weren't pointing a gun at me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I can't have it the other way, unfortunately. Um, Cherie Deville, we're here Please. today to talk about a thing, and that thing is? Guns. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, watching at home. Guns. Well, I'm, you're an American, so you must love guns. From the man dressed in full <laughs> tactical gear. You're like, you're what? an American. You clearly, like, I brought tits to a gunfight. You, my friend, obviously are the expert that's in this. That's how we get the views. This, that's, yeah. <laughs> well, that's where the viewership you know, comes from. I don't want to block not here for it me. with a gun. <laughs> I, um, no, I mean, I, I'll explain why I am uh, a gun owner, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, do you want me to do that right now? I would love you to do that right now. Oh, OK. Because I actually have questions. We're getting straight into the meat of it. No, I'm ready. I mean, first, my question, though, was uh, assuming you did like guns. Am I incorrect, then? Do you not I'm... like guns? Tentative about guns at best. Mm. I've shot guns in a range before, that was fine. I have relatives that hunt, that's cool. Hey, miners deer. No, it's closer than you know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, they kind of freak the shit out of me, especially for like home gun ownership. Yeah. I feel like best case scenario, I'd lose a toe. I think um, I think you're correct in all of those <laughs> that I'd lose a toe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think, having known you now for a few years, I think you are clumsy enough to shoot your own fucking foot off. Absolutely, fucking lutely <laughs> Absol He's not wrong. Um, no, I mean, I think you're right in your estimation of guns, ironically. I, I own one, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I have a Glock 17 Gen 3. And I got it because I'm um, practical. And I'm a man of this common sense. This is practical? I'll explain. Let me, I'll get there. I'll get there, right? Oh, I'm waiting. So I'm a practical man, mm. and I uh, understand the country in which I live. Yes. The, the beautiful, the majestic United States he of America. He says with his own flag on his gun. You know, I'm yeah. proud of being not, British, too. I'm no. proud of being Romanian, yeah. also. Yeah. Macedonian is blood that courses through my veins. I love that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like, here's the thing, right? Prior to moving to this country, I would never consider owning a gun. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I, I dislike Why, guns. Why? Because it's illegal, or because? Because I just don't think people need them. I think if everyone got rid of them, the world would be an incredible place. Okay. Now that's not the case. People do own them, and in Lots this country, a lot of people own them. But like, not so much in LA. But continue. A, not true in the slightest, <sighs> and also uh, a lot of concealed carry here as well. A lot mm. of people do their CCW out yeah, yeah. here. But um, no, there's loads of gun owners in Los Angeles. You're thinking of like the art liberal crowd that we come from, the I performers, am, the entertainers. I am. The people who like would shoot their toes off. Well, if I mean, they owned a gun. your mates are shooting something a little bit different on a day-to-day yeah, -day basis. Let me tell you, it gets places you don't think it's going to get. So at least some of them are firing blanks, happen. though, right? So it's all right. <laughs> but I no. But here's the deal. I think I think having been in this country as long as I have now, um, being engaged to a woman of color mm -hmm. and going through. Black Lives Matter protests together yeah. going up there to support the cause and seeing the lunacy yeah. that did not nine times out of ten come from black people. That was interesting. Absolutely. Like a lot of white dudes with skinheads who mm -hmm. I'm pretty certain weren't BLM. Yeah. Um, On and then you've got, yeah, walking around oh, with yeah. guns and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then the Capitol riots happened. Yeah. And do you know what it is, Cherie? It's this. Sounds like fear. <laughs> no, it, a little bit, yeah, yeah. it is. It's, uh, I see a gun as a tool to do a job. And here's the reality. One of the jobs that I will do, if necessary, is protect my family. And but I like, think, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Continue, and continue. I have seen the civil unrest in this country yeah. get to a place where people were storming the most sacrilegious to, to defile locations like, you know, the Capitol building yeah. without a second thought with guns mm -hmm. in their hands. Yeah. Neo-Nazis and QAnon yeah. believers. They went into the Capitol building and I was like, nah, I'm not going to be the liberal that gets shot up in his flipping home. because Honestly, if you know I, I mean? lived like in the south or in a rural area, I feel like I might have a gun because I'm way mm. more afraid Maybe because I grew up in cities, like rural white people kind of scared the shit out of right, me. Right, right, right. Like, do you know what I mean? But I don't know. I, just I do. rural Maybe white it's people. Art of, yeah. What wow. about rural black people? They scare me more because there's just less of them. You're like, what are you doing out in the woods? This is definitely a racist white town, and there's just one <laughs> what are you doing black guy on living here. What are you camping? What are you? Yeah. <laughs> what adventure are you trying to find, my friend? Because. Everyone no, here like is a racist. Every time there's like a school shooting, it's some like rural white person. I get you. I get you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Some kid They're from like, the boonies who's yeah. like, 
was ignored or yeah. So maybe I'm soon. stereotyping as a city girl, but I don't know. And I feel like but all those deal. people it, when have When civil guns. unrest cap happens, right? If 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 politically this country like, went bam so bam. So you have it for like in case more civil unrest happens, or like you're comfortable with it at the current level of civil Here's unrest. Here's what I know. The people who consider themselves, um, uh, you know, uh, strong-willed nationalists or, or Republican mm -hmm. or conservative voters, mm -hmm. and actually a bunch of the furthest, most extreme left um, mm -hmm. on the side of politics um, as well, they got guns. They got guns. In fact, they got a lot of guns in fucking basements. AR stacked so? up. No, I'm no, I don't think so. That, like, Yo, no one has I guns. Don't... Am I like so naive? I'm yes. Like, That's a lot of guns, buddy. I'm like, maybe I need a fucking gun. Yo, now you're freaking Cherie, me out, though. In this state, I think you can buy a gun once every uh, every month up until a certain amount. I think you have to wait a grace period of a month or two months or something. Oh in some God. states, you can get a gun every week. There's and someone people with do like have... an advent calendar right now full of guns for their sweetie. And I'm not, I'm not <laughs> making this shit up. I'm not assuming this. I've been in those basements and looked at them and gone, wow, you got a Dude. lot of guns. And you think that I've the been in some weird basements. <laughs> <laughs> like that scares the shit out of me when lunatics have guns. And I'm not saying that as a, uh, as um. Uh, even as a democratic voter, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying that because I, I, I consider both political parties Crazy. to be corrupt oh, at their core. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm for the people. But as someone for the people, and as someone who isn't going to let a bunch of neo-Nazis shoot my wife but because like, she's where, black like, if they ever decided to have some civil, you know, uprising. Okay, so you're thinking if something increases, sure. this is like future preparedness. This is me, I'm ready. Yeah, you're this ready. This is The Walking Dead, except instead of zombies, it's just dudes in red hats. So I have an <laughs> axe. See, I think my axe <laughs> is gonna beat your gun every day because you, my friend, in the zombie apocalypse you are gonna- you say your axe? Yes, I have it. Look, we can circle back to my axe. How are you gonna beat neo-Nazis with an axe? because they're all gonna run out of motherfucking bullets. If it's a zombie apocalypse, who is making bullets? I have an ax. You're gonna be out of bullets day five shooting people and that's great for you. Wait, how much but weed did I smoke before this podcast? my ax is gonna last forever. Are we <laughs> talking about zombies now? I was talking you started it. You're right. You I did... started it, so you threw the zombie apocalypse out there. Well, let's, go, let's talk for, about that for a sec. Yeah. We're taking a massive side <laughs> step here. Yeah, like if you, you knew zombies were coming, you'd buy more guns and bullets? Because I'd be I buying think, machetes, axes. No, I think I definitely, yeah, I definitely have guns. Because you can, you can take care of that threat from a much have far, you played further any range. Zombie video games? Uh, many. <sighs> I love playing zombie games. Yeah, and the axe. You is, know how rare that's a bullets close are. Up. You're not looking to do close combat quarter work. In the zombie <laughs> apocalypse, you're not going like, let them get close. Don't hold, hold, hold. That's the only time the Spartan <laughs> army, Leonidas, would have been up there like, don't hold, yeah. don't hold. loose your arrows. They eat us. They literally eat our brains. Stop. <laughs> And there's no holding for zombies, you're, and you're out I'm there with a fucking axe, like let them get close. For the first two weeks, I'm with you. For the t first two weeks, I'm gonna let you kill as many zombies with your bullets as possible. But after that, no. when you're scrounging in the bushes for bullets, I got my fucking axe. Guns, I'm, well listen, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm welcoming you onto the team, the post-apocalyptic <laughs> team. Uh, you will be the first to die, just as long as you know no, that. No, I know, and I always get tell eaten people to axe a zombie. in a serious situation, whether yeah, it's zombies yeah, yeah. or not, my only chance of survival is to find people way more competent than me and be their sex guess slave. Guess what? Guess what? Do you Republicans need a sex slave? who live out in the woods and have basements filled with guns, that's where you gotta Please go. Please take you care of safe. me. I will suck so much dick. <laughs> Just don't let me die. Oh wow, that's how you're gonna do it. Wow. That's, that's the only way I can do it. I'm dead day one otherwise. I'm definitely not gonna be sucking any penis to survive in the apocalypse. I hope that I would. Do whatever I would... you gotta do though, man. I mean, yeah. Keep me in your village. I will take care of everybody. Let's keep it on guns. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we've taken such a left You're turn here. Such a strong left turn. Dick sucking and zombies is a, a, a good subject matter. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, guns in this country. I mean, they're, they're, look, listen. I've got one. I'm a reluctant gun owner. That's why I say say to myself, I'm an anti-gun gun owner. A reluctant gun owner. An anti-gun gun owner. I wish we lived in a world where it was unnecessary to have uh, a tool oh, to I see what you're potentially saying. protect myself. But because other people do. If tomorrow the US government and everyone in this, in this country decided en masse, 
That's it. Ban on guns. Mm -hmm. all, all guns are being handed back into the government and uh, the government's going to take their weapons or whatever. If that right. was a situation and everyone agreed upon that, I would happily go and hand over my firearm. Right, but there's a lot of ifs in there. So let's just say gun ownership became illegal. That absolutely won't get rid of guns. No, and of course in fact, not. that'll only get rid of the guns of the people who I would feel were responsible gun users. No, I think this country's too far gone now. Like, gun ownership yeah, there's would no always getting be a part rid of, of this. Absolutely. Yeah, unless enlightenment of, you know, kind of. That's the reality, isn't it? If everyone Unless takes a few more mushrooms. <laughs> here's the reality. When everyone, when weed is legal in all the states, when mushrooms are being yep. used to help treat people's mental illnesses like yep. deep depression and trauma mm -hmm. and anxiety and psychosis and whatever else is, is you know. And men accept all. access to therapy and culturally a little more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All of these things, right? Because it's y'all that are shooting people up. Who? Men. Oh. People with penises. Are shooting the ones shooting. We're just out there shooting people shooting up. It up. Just shooting it up. Just shooting it up. But there's more. I, I could probably name more female um, faces of gun ownership than men. Ironically, what do you mean faces. Of faces, like like in terms of um, stars within the gun community. Oh, really? The women who end up being gun uh, advocates. Well, listen. Become superstars. I have a question about that, though. Yeah. Is that because... Would I have sex with... Oh, no, OK. Yes, no. well, that was my second question. That was the follow-up question. Only if they point a gun in my mouth. And then you'd do it. Then I'd, do I'd it have to, I'd have gun. to. You'd do it with a squirt gun. Oh, what you are you would. doing? You'd be like, don't drown me. Don't waterboard me. OK, I'll do Please it. I'm don't. sorry, man. All right. I know, that's you. Please don't urinate in my eyes. I think they're fucking superstars <laughs> because they're women, not because they're more popular, yeah. but because they're sexualized by the gun owner community. I bet it's a smaller percentage of female gun owners, and that is sexualized. I bet it Oh, absolutely, is. of yeah. course. I'm sure there's fewer... So that's why they're the face of gun ownership, because they're like, look, but this one has breasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but isn't that what we're doing here today? You said that it before is. we started recording. You were and like, look at me in my crop top. I will use my breasts yeah. to sell the business. It's also how I, you know, pay my rent. <laughs> I feel like um, guns are not a thing in England. Like, we just don't... That's what I was going to ask, because you have your, your British flag there. Is that, like, secretly a knife? Well, my history of guns <laughs> is my dad had a shotgun. Really? Was yeah. he allowed to have it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was licensed. But you... So you, you can have guns in England. I didn't know you that. You can have a, a two-barrel shotgun, I believe, for... Really? Because that's a scary clay motherfucking pigeon gun. Shooting. Yeah, and you have to have it registered to, um, to, a, to a, you know, a gun, gun club or whatever. Okay, okay. So we would, we would go and shoot clay pigeons very occasionally like we did it I think I did it like three times okay and that was it that was all my experience of guns until I came to America oh and we worship and guns. I shot all the guns yeah like all the guns and so many different guns Taurus can shoot you can go to Vegas and have never seen a gun have before you done it? and shoot the other and shoot all the guns okay so now yeah. you've, you've you've pitched yourself as very anti-gun up until this point mm -hmm. but you I told you I've been to gun ranges yeah when it's you said it's crazy them. It's crazy to be so in you there understand the enjoyment with the noise for a lot of people. and the power and to like get your little target and see if you've done a good job. Yeah. How did it make you feel to shoot a gun? Nervous, but also like that like powerful nervous energy. You know what I mean? Because you're holding you like, like a weapon of destruction in your fucking hands. A co-star with this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you were thinking. <laughs> well, certain co-stars. Has that happened in your industry? Has there been the any the murder has, of a co-star? Have there been any porn actors who have gone off the walls with regards to guns, like I just shoot up a, a set or something? I don't think so. Okay. At least not in my twelve-year we, we, tenure. We definitely shouldn't put this in this. Yeah, in that context. Because otherwise, some yeah. lunatic out there Honestly, will go, "Great, this is my if chance." It, it would be a fan. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> it wouldn't even be a performer. Like, we're just, like, there at work. You know, but it's the The performers are broken. <laughs> they're not crazy. For those fans, they're fucking lunatics. Well, I get death threats from fans. Everyone I know gets death threat from fans. Have you had them, anyone send you, like, a gun or a bullet or anything cra crazy like that? Creepy stuff. I think I told you about the creepy box that I received one time with, like, the creepy fucking doll in it. Oh, yes. And the, yeah, so I've been sent creepy stuff. People find my address all the time. So the last thing one you want is... One of my coworkers is... has had someone show up with, like, the whole dick in a box thing. Obviously, he went right to jail. But absolutely. Wait, he was holding like an Amazon package, and then, and then it was his, and then surprise, surprise, it was his dick. I mean, points. I think it was for, actually like cupcakes, but whatever. It points was a box for arts and, penis. and crafts and time spent, though. No, surely. <laughs> like, if you're gonna be a pervert, he could have just gone with a long trench coat, but he was like, 
Uh, He's uh, like, uh, 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 uh. I'm going to fashion myself a cupcake I'm box. about to meet my favorite woman, and doesn't she want a cupcake? She didn't want you know, a cupcake, he, it turned he out. He baked all those cupcakes himself as well. He really semen. went all There's out. There's semen in all of those cupcakes. But the last thing you want is a fan one. turning up with a gun, obviously. I don't even want a fan turning up with cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's scary as fuck. Has there been anything in your industry with regards to guns? Like any porn stars going a bit? Yeah, some death threats at specifically at conventions that they've said, you know, I'm going after you, but I'm going to kill everybody in there. What do you do in a situation like that? You inform you, the... Yep, the hotel is informed, they're screening people, all kinds of crazy stuff. And then you hop is. online immediately because you know he's waiting to give you all his money. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Where are you, Steve? Where are you, you Steve? fucking lunatic. You said. No. You can't shoot There's me out, but I'm ready to finger bang your life into the next. Let's go, <laughs> boom! Get your credit card out. Can you imagine? That's. Can you I imagine? mean, I've I've encountered at least two or three very in, very scary unsettled fans. people yeah. who have considered themselves fans. Death threat fans. Uh, Guns? One of them, yeah, one of them, and then uh, the other two. Nah, just I think one of them was a guy, and he just kept setting up fake profiles as women and trying to befriend yeah, me and things like this when I was single. Issue, yeah. yeah, but I always knew it was him. I was just like, dude, what are you doing? You felt it. Yeah, but yeah. he was it was creepy. Yeah. Um, and then, but I've never had a, I've never had a gun. You've threat. never had a gun like pulled on you or anything like that. No. No. I've been stabbed up and never had a gun pulled because it's, it's not a thing in the UK. We just don't have guns pulled out very often. If yeah. someone's got a gun, it's normally gang related. Or even like shown their gun to be like, listen, I'm in control of this. Situation. Oh, someone's shown me their gun yeah. in America. Yeah, someone's shown yeah, me like their gun. Yeah, like in a threatening way. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I just no, went, that I went very nice. I shall see you yes. later. Goodbye. I'll be out. Bye, I thank shall be you. heading this way now. Yeah. It was okay that you cut me up on the road. Absolutely no worries, sir. I apologize for storming up to your driver's side window. I've seen it on the road. I got very And British. then the only other time I've been seriously scared out of my mind by a gun um, was with the police. What happened then? So when I, the house, my first house in LA, yeah. I guess people had been selling drugs like either in the house, the previous owner, or maybe in the parking lot. Nice. So did, for whatever reason. Did it come reason, with any free drugs when you I moved wish in? I it came with free drugs. Have they you tried smashing in the up. walls of that place? Because there's probably fucking racks of money. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a great plan. I just moved in. I'm just going <laughs> to bust out every wall. I would have busted wall. all the walls down, see you what they hid would've. in there. Yeah. And then you'd have to learn how to plaster. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but the police thought. They're like, they had set up the whole sting, I guess. They had done the whole thing. So they bang on my door. My dog is barking. I'm scared. I open the door. All their guns are drawn. My dog rushes out. And they're like, we're going to shoot your dog. We're going to shoot your dog. Control your dog. And like, they had their guns pointed at me. I met your dog. Your dog's me. well chill. I know. I know. Well, a previous dog who was just as chill, but like, there but are crazy was people carrying, at the door. He was carrying a gun and a bag of cocaine when he exactly. came out. Exactly. He had a lot of cocaine on Tell him. Tell that dog to put yeah, down that put gun. put down the cocaine and the gun. They said that. But he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. That fucking dog, man. And he was selling cocaine <laughs> the whole time, it turned out. And I'd he went to jail. That's why I don't have that thumbs. dog anymore. I'd love a dog yeah. with opposable thumbs. <laughs> Yeah, so the police scared the shit out of me, and I honestly believe if I had been a man or black, I would have got shot. Yeah. But I was a crying white woman, because as soon as I saw that and they threatened to kill my dog, I burst into fucking tears. That's an intro that's a nice <clears throat> line, I like that. Nothing is, nothing is more powerful than a gun other than the tears of a white, woman. Of a white American woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo. It honestly saved my ass. How, do you, how would you um, feel if conscription became a thing in this country and you had to go off to war, do you think you would handle a weapon well? No, I don't. I think I would flee to Canada. <laughs> 100%. So you wouldn't want to shoot a gun? No, absolutely not. Even in defense of your country? No. What no, about I, in defense I just really of like my life. someone you love? Yeah, if, I would fuck someone up. If someone was physically threatening your friend or yeah. a loved one, a family member? I could then. You yep. reckon you could pull absolutely. the trigger? Absolutely, yeah. I think it's an easy well, thing for us to say. Well, threatening on what level, though? I mean, I'm going to fucking kill your nan. Then absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. They got a metal stick and they're going over to no bang your nan choice. in the head. Well, I mean, there's no other choice. That nan at that really point. annoyed him. Yeah, well. <laughs> she's the racist. She's a little bit she racist. Has she's got she's seen her. <laughs> she's got a bit of dementia. She's kind of a dick. If anything, you've wanted to punch her a couple of times, but never cave her head in with a metal right. stick. And there he goes. See? He's heading towards her. He's he marching the line. in. Now you don't know that he's gonna kill her, but he looks like he has the intent to do it, and you're gonna pull that trigger. Yeah. Where are you shooting? Where are you aiming? Oh, I'm such a bad, like, you're assuming I have aim. 
So you're telling me... You have to, boom, look, you're there, it's happening right in now. The oh, oh, in the middle. Wherever there's middle the most it. square inches You're just trying of to target, hit. The biggest target, yeah. Okay. If Where would you, you hit him? I mean, I'd probably shoot him in the leg. Oh, you're a sniper now. I'm not a sniper, I just think I'd shoot him in the leg. If you're, if you're... you're going to miss that leg. No, absolutely not. You really not. think you're going to hit him? How, from how no, far? No, and I'll tell you what, hang on a sec. First of all, I uh, absolutely do not think I missed that shot. And I'll tell you why. Because I think part of owning a gun or gun ownership mm -hmm. is the responsibility of s responsible gun ownership, like learning how to use the tool. It's a tool for a job. Yeah, but that doesn't mean everyone could hit. Like, I don't know how good I would be. That's what I'm be. saying is I think you should have to do a level of training prior to getting the license to being able to own a firearm. Well, that's I a question you should what have kind to go of training. And do should I be able to, to hit be... a kneecap at 100 yards before I can have this gun? No, you should, be ha you should have uh, a reasonable level, just like driving a car, a reasonable level of understanding how so to what's clean, reasonable? clean and maintain. You should be able to clean yep. and maintain the gun, take it apart, clean it, and reassemble it. Yep. You should be able to um, uh, hit whatever, 75% of shots from a target mm -hmm. at whatever, uh, six yards or whatever six it is, yards, or nine okay, yards, you know, if close. you're using it in the house, if it's a household gun, which it mm -hmm. should be only be used for. Um, and then you should also have to undergo a simple psychological test to understand that you're not a fucking nut job. And that's the problem in this country. Psychological tests are fucking nut job. They're too easy to get. And people who are really incapable of being responsible or even known and not, to be irresponsible are given It's not even dangerous guns. people. I'm talking about even people who, who have um, suicide ideation or who have, Absolutely. Who have uh, you know, dark... Uh, maybe um, psychosis of any kind Absolutely. shouldn't probably be owning a gun. Yeah. You know? That's the problem, though, is that What do you everyone... think about, like, okay, so there's lots of different types of gun. You said in, in England you're allowed to have big ones, small ones, little guns, you know, ones that guns. shoot far, ones that shoot short. But do you think, like, semi-automatic weapons, automatic weapons? No like, one needs... What line? Where's your, where's your For line, For me, personally? Then? Yeah, yeah. Once you've, once you've shot um, a semi-automatic weapon, or a full auto mm -hmm. weapon. It's too much. You understand that there's no purpose of owning a gun like that unless you're trying to kill a lot of a lot of something in a very short period of time, which is why their gun's designed for military engagement, because yeah. you're trying to kill people. A shit ton of people. Grrr, that's the whole point. You have to be so able to So what if you mow. have seven robbers, they're coming into your house, you think they're going to kill you, you have that. How fast does that shoot? Oh, I mean, fast enough to shoot seven people. If they're unarmed, it's yeah. going to be even easier. Also, you got you should go and do a oh, CQB um, course, you know, which is like uh, like close combat quarters uh, type fighting for the household. There's tons of those courses. And if, uh, this is what I'm saying. If everyone did all this shit, it's yeah. the same way that, you know, if Americans learn how to use their turn signals, there'd be less accidents. If, <laughs> yeah. So you're putting Maybe that that's at, just look, an LA I've thing, driven in other countries. It's not an American thing. I mean, turn signals are a little right. loosey-goosey most places. In Los places. Angeles, no one seems to know what a fucking turn signal I is. I do. And Every they time. also don't understand that texting whilst driving or looking at your phone is a bad idea. You get, you get what I'm saying, though? A little bit of training can make something a lot safer. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree there should be training. I think automatic weapons are completely absurd for just, like, civilian use. And when do we start that training? When they're three years old, when they're ready? That's what we do, and we put a gun in their hand. <laughs> when they're ready? I'm just playing so devil's advocate. Well, that's, no, that's a good question, though. Do you think every citizen nah, should only, be trained? Only if you wish to own a firearm. Okay. You should have to get a license. That, so you're that saying no you, have train, to do these you needed no training to get that gun? I mean, I had to, um, I had to learn the uh, firearm safety manual, and I had to be able to, be able to answer a few questions on it. So um, it's like a written test? Mm-hmm. No practical exam? No, I just That's had to show that I knew how to safely operate and load it and unload it and not point like it at people. Like visually show? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little bit of a practical exam. Sure. So you think there should be more? Yeah. You think there should be like target practice? I think and you like... should just, yeah, you should be like, okay, you now strike me as someone who's not going to fucking shoot, and trying to protect your home, but then shoot through a window and hit an old lady walking her dog. Or well, vice versa. What if you it goes through us. that human to the old lady? Well, then, I mean, she's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And she, at least she's should old. Should be responsible? She's old. She's old, fuck it. She had like five so good years So if they're left. under 70, it's a problem if they're over 70, fuck it. Oh, what, but owning a gun? No, no, no. We laugh, but this has happened to someone. No, someone I out know. there. It has. Someone out and there, that's then, completely ridiculous. Then Nan got hit, and you've made fun of that now. And I Shereen, did make fun of that, and that. now I'm going to get the hate mail for the rest of my life. It's uh, at but like, Cherie okay. Deville. At Cherie Deville. <laughs> Platforms. But 
so okay, say someone is breaking into your house. You do you assume they're going to kill you? Do you assume they're just going to take your items? At what point do you think? No, but this is what I'm saying. Is shooting as them a, is as, okay. As a responsible gun owner who's done some training, mm -hmm. I understand that you don't just pull your gun out and shoot people. That's not what you do. In fact, that's the last thing you want to do. Yeah. Is have to ever. Um, you know, operate so the firearm. it's 3 a.m. What you want to do is you want to have your finger alongside the trigger, not on it, because you don't okay. want to be, I'm not quite ready to shoot anyone. I'm just okay. letting them know. But you let them know, I have a firearm. And you are illegally trespassing. In my house. And if you do not leave my property immediately, I may be forced to use this firearm to protect myself and my home. So and that is extremely out. sensible, though. Yeah, but that's how it should be, because it's a tool to do a job that the job should never have to use at all, really, in an ideal world. You get I what I'm just saying? feel like most people, people with that like, amount of woo! adrenaline, bam, too. Bam, I got a gun, man. There's I'm someone cool in my guy. house, they're stealing my stuff. A lot of people would say just the theft of my items in my home and trespassing is enough to shoot them. Yeah, but those people don't understand the law of the United States of America. No, no, there are places no, no, where no, no, there, no, are, not. there are states where if you go onto their property, they can shoot you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, yes, they can. So I, I, understand, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I'm saying in a court of law, nine times out of ten, if you shoot someone who comes into your home, unless they're armed with a gun and had an intent to kill you or shot at you first. In LA. You, no, 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 no. In most states, really? it's very dodgy ground. You don't mm -hmm. want to unload your firearm, really. It's, yeah. not, it's not at all designed to be used. That's the point I'm making. And I feel if people knew this fucking simple, under, these simple rules, look, even some of the stuff, you don't know. You don't know. No, I don't know. And that's the reality. I just assume But you don't every, own a gun. Like, you don't own a gun, so you don't have to. Because, again, my toes. But it's pretty... <laughs> But it's plenty it's of, very and how much money do those toes make you? A lot, a lot of, money. of money. Yeah. A lot of money. Have you ever stuck a couple Bunyan of bullets? Included. You should put a bullet in between each toe and sell a print of that. I bet they'd be like, you make, there'd be so many fucking NRA dudes just. You really uh, think that like the foot fetish bullet combo uh, is an underserved yeah. market? Pew, pew, just like should using I your toes to pew, shoot pew it noises? and making the pew, 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 yeah. pew, 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 Yeah, oh my do God. It. Now, Follow-up question, should someone be coming on the bullets or no? There should be no semen on these bullets. Don't be disgusting, Okay, I'm sorry. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to like, call you every time play. I have an, It's just gun foot play. Should I jerk the ever, gun off with my feet? Have you, ever used a, <clears throat> have you ever used a gun in any pornographic shoots? Has there ever, ever been a pistol? We, porn and guns is kind of a big no-no. I'm not right. saying no one's ever done that, but like the rules of what you can sell while being naked is pretty fucking crazy. There's a, there's a sign on the wall in every porn studio and it's, it's no guns. When the dick's out. No, no dicks out, mm -hmm. no Irish. That's what it says on the walls, right? Definitely no Irish. Yeah. In every studio, it's no Irish. And you can they have like guns, fucking too much. It becomes but not a problem. at the same becomes, time as the dicks. The yeah. dick, you gotta put the dick away if you're taking the gun out and just no Irish in general. I'd like to apologize to all our Irish viewers. <laughs> just jokes, but you're <laughs> Irish, you're so you'll laugh at it because you get it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like guns on a porn shoot. That makes sense. There's nothing yeah. allowed because it could go wrong. And it has gone wrong. Let's look at like films, movies. guns or fake guns. The or crow. Like, yeah. Think about the crow, oh you know, like God, prop right? guns with Wasn't blanks. That a, was that a blank? What kind of bullet hit it, it? I think it was a blank that misfired and something in the gun oh, um, sh shot out and hit him or something of that nature. Or, or a blank had been swapped. Or was it a blank had been swapped for a, a real bullet or something? Now that we're talking about gun mistakes, I'm just going to move my chair. And then there was a more recent one, Alec Baldwin as well. Really? He, I didn't yeah. even hear about that one. Yeah, he just, yeah, I think he just acci accidentally um, killed a director of photography, a, a young woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and was a it a real gun or a fake gun? I a mean, movie gun? I mean, I think, I don't know. We should have done the research, really. <laughs> <laughs> what, prepare for our job? Let's, let's assume <laughs> that something went wrong. Either a real bullet ended up in a gun or... Something went wrong, yes. Something went wrong with a blank bullet and she's now, unfortunately, passed away. Yeah. Crazy. That's fucking crazy. Do we just remove all guns from movies now? Instead, we have to replace them with Sword bananas guns. or CGI, See, green guns, and they have to CGI in a real one. That wouldn't one. surprise me at all. If that ended up happening, have to CGI in every bullet, ex every explosion from the tip of the gun. No, no. Yeah. Because they can do that. They can absolutely do that. Maybe that's the only way to do it, but that hasn't become a nationwide. No, I don't think there's thing. been enough accidents for that to be an issue. Let's talk about accidents for a second, mm -hmm. because um, obviously we can't really discuss guns. Yeah. Without discussing well, the statistics school for well, school shootings and the statistics for people like you who have an in-home gun. More 
people in your home that you love are likely to get shot by your gun yeah. than strangers that are breaking into your home, you're statistically. You're 100% you're you're correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're 100% And correct. yet you still make the choice to have a deadly weapon in your home. But yeah, school shootings, that's a really big deal. So you're saying, <laughs> no, right, so, no, but you're I, saying. I, it's just the way you yeah, delivered that. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. school shootings are a really big deal. School shootings are a huge deal. If there was no access to legal guns, you'd remove all of that. Would so we? So are all those would we, dead this is kids. The point. This is the argument that goes back and forth in this country since time immemorial. Mm -hmm. Are the guns the problem, or are they the people who operate them the problem? Well, the people are the biggest problem. If it's a white kid, obviously, shooting up a school, that's always a mental health issue. If it's a black kid shooting up another black kid, you know. They do frame it differently, that's got, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, you know. Yeah, they fucking do. This is a gangster, a criminal, you know, mm. uh, a gunman, you know, rather yeah. than mental, you know, uh, damaged youth or whatever. But if it's, you're a, it's, an, up it's a, a pandemic people, in this fucking country. Damaged. I've noticed that the press has started to not name the gunman. They've started to give less and less information. It gets less, less airtime, yeah. which they hasn't really seen a downward spiral in the frequency of these mass shootings. They seem to still be as frequent, if not more so. It's definitely getting more frequent. And do you think that's What like do you think is wrong with American, predominantly men? that makes them want to go and shoot a load of people up. Why is this happening? That is an excellent question. I have no clue what's wrong with the young American man. For the sake of our podcast, I think you should hazard a guess. So let me ask you, you're an American woman. Mm -hmm. What, in your opinion, is the reason why people seem to like to pick up guns and go and shoot a bunch of absolute strangers? Why, why does this happen? It seems to be predominantly white young men. Yeah. And I wonder if that's a symptom of our society you know, being more interested in equality, taking a lot of the power away from white men. There's statistics on white men and all so men you think having less sex. power is taken away from white they're men. They're freaking out because they used to have the power. If they never had the power, it would be different. But, you know, I think as a young white man, you're, you're traditionally given like this story that you're gonna be able to do whatever you want. You're gonna have all these great things. You're gonna have a woman, you're gonna have sex, you're going to do all this stuff. And now that it's not happened, but the playing field is a little more equal and you actually have to work for the mm. things that you get and perhaps deserve the things that you get. I think a lot of people are fucking disillusioned. I and pissing people off. couldn't disagree more. Do it, what and do you I'll think? And I'll tell you why, Shri, yeah. only because of the timeline. Because these white dudes yeah. were shooting up schools when we were still running everything, even pu publicly. You don't think it's new? Nah, I feel like nah. the school shootings school like a shootings, twenty year old mass thing. Mass shootings have been going on way before wokeism or woke culture or whatever mm. your you know, you, these incels could blame their mental health issues yeah, or yeah. their blocks. And also I don't think it gives them more power. Maybe in the short term, it gives them a momentary feeling of power. That's mental health, yeah. that's illness, that's being fucked in the head. But I think also there's, um, I think it's there's more. also- So what's changed? No, but I think, I think it's, it's a desire to, to have social media presence. I think social media has everything to blame for this. Because even I think that, that these- kill themselves? Because they're never even seeing that social media moment. It doesn't matter, it's martyrdom. People now know, if I go and do this thing immediately, news, somehow, someone's gonna get a video or a photo or whatever, I, my face, my name, I will have a legacy as being known for this thing and it'll be like a story that is told. So it's fame whoring. And it's, it's, it's fucking fame whoring to some extent. It's, yeah. it's deranged people who want to be noticed. Then and why that, that is it so many white people for the most part? Oh, because I mean, I guess a lot of middle American fucking white dudes are not being noticed. Do you know what I mean? You know, well, that's my point. Are not being your noticed. Your first cousin not, doesn't yeah. pull the weight it used to anymore. It's not newsworthy. Whereas you go and shoot up a black church, all of a sudden, you know, you get letters in prison from other fucking lunatics. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so I think that's what it is. I don't think it's just. Um, a power thing because that power is taken away very rapidly. You're thrown in a jail yeah. cell and you're done, and it's not or you kill a good life. Or you have yeah. to kill yourself. So the power is fleeting and probably not real. Um, but I think it's just wanting to be known. Like, look at me, look at me. And that is privilege. That is a loss of privilege. Yeah. That does relate to privilege. Yeah, because I'm like, then why is it just white people? I just think there has to be. I mean, well, it's not. Predominantly, it's not. It, is though, yeah. it feels like overwhelmingly, it's predominantly statistically, white more white yeah. guys shooting uh, are guilty of mass shootings. So there's, um, but then it's gun got to be like a cultural crime, component. Because is the complete f reverse. Gun crime in general, it's more, um, it's more whoever. ethnic minorities than it is, um, you know, or African Americans in this country, I guess, than it is. But that's because of you know, <laughs> created systems, uh, right. systemic racism that have, you know, 
put, push people into an impoverished state where they have to um, uh, beg, borrow, and steal, literally, yeah. sometimes, and rob people to get what they can. And they've also that's indoctrinated into the culture as well by white, wealthy mm -hmm. corporations. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not in any yeah. way uh, oblivious to any of those facts. But and, I'm just saying I don't think the white dudes are doing it. And just drug culture, the fact that our drugs are illegal for the most part in this country, and yet people do sell and provide drugs, they have to police themselves with guns. How do we stop it? How do I we get these white drugs. dudes? How do we oh, get the these white dudes? legalized drugs? So we legalize drugs, that will stop all the black gum. dudes fighting and shooting each other. There'll be no reason to anymore because drugs are free. They're not free. <laughs> oh, free? I thought you said free. That was a way better <laughs> idea. Legal, oh, legal. Free everywhere. heroin for everybody. Not heroin, legal. I mean, like, you know, you've got to charge for that because that's good stuff. Then like, there's you know. no reason for you to have to provide the force. Right. You know. But then what about the white dudes? We give them all a chat show? Every white dude under the age of 35, like, he hasn't got <laughs> he a family a or anything to live show. for, <gasps> he gets his own podcast, his we own should. angry podcast. You know podcast. how, like, you can buy bots for your Instagram account? Yeah. We should set up, like, a bot service to watch like boring people's that. shit I so they feel good that. about themselves and Bot they twitch. won't shoot any yes. so it's basically twi it's basically twitch then it's yeah. just still twitch yeah do that though but like right. they'll just get a lot of like fake people loving on them so they'll feel loved right 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 why does everyone not feel loved so that's how we're going to do it. we're going to combat mass okay. shootings by giving white dudes their own podcast i mean it's already happening that's what we're doing right now i just i'm glad to be part of the solution <laughs> ladies and gentlemen instead of part of the problem and um and then uh and legalizing drugs to get rid of at least way. like class c's and b's but then people like you will still have guns yeah would i would you I mean, I've only got it for as the reason I said at the beginning, because I, I just think if neo Nazi is going to kick down my door, I'm not going to be there like, listen, listen. I've got some liberal culture. Uh, and, and some, books you should read. I've got some liberal <laughs> literature for you to read that I think will change your mind on the system and as it stands at the moment and why or you should not hurt me. Yeah, I can't that's do not that. going to happen. I can't do that shit. Well, here's the question. I've got to be like, yo, fuck off out of my house because I've got a gun. As a tall white dude yeah if you were not dating a person of color male yeah. or female would you have a gun oh no really because i don't feel threatened i don't th i don't think if you lived alone i don't think why i don't think white um extremists yeah. in this country so are worried about me worried i'm about a white, white straight extremist. dude yeah yeah. yeah yeah no i'm worried about people threatening my family specifically white extremists because that's the most real threat for you yeah in this country yeah yeah here where you are in la neo-nazis yeah, yeah. Have you had shitty experiences with them? Other I mean, than, I've like, never met television? a neo-Nazi and gone, what a lovely fucking bloke. No, you know no, I mean? no, but like, have you ever been like, harassed, <laughs> threatened, you uh, know? Nah, not by neo Oh, actually, yeah, yeah I have, yeah. So when, I, when, when my fiance and I entered into our relationship, I yeah. got um, a number of people reached out to me with some racist comments. Yeah. Here's what it is, listen, I'm keeping a gun, you're never gonna own one? Unlikely. But we could go and shoot one together one I day. I would totally do that. We could do that because it's going to totally be fun. I would totally do that. Um, all right, well, moment. listen, we've started some great work here today yeah. discussing guns. And uh, every white man in America, you will be getting your own podcast. So just yeah, hold off on do that. killing people. Please. Sheree. Yes. It's a comic. Cougar. Conversation. See you next time.